all in. They're off. Jumped away over a mile for the Mansion Bets, Betstable, Bet 10, Get 20, British EBF Novice Stakes. On the first to show the colour change, McCann the Man, black and red colours. Also prominent is Council. Got quite warm beforehand, but he's bowling along now in front. Racing in third is Camachi in the blue. Just behind those is Model Actress, the filly, in the yellow colours, racing prominently in a share of second or third place now. Behind those, the odds-on favourite, Ba'id, is racing back in about fifth, ahead of Vard Love in the yellow and black, is alongside Rogue Power, red and white. Also red and white for Watch My Six, who's further back in company with Lancero, the two-tone blue. And out the back and chased along already is aboard the Beagle in the brown and white colours. Staying towards the centre of the track this time. And Camachi on the right is now providing some pace pressure for Council. Between them is McCann, the man, racing in black and red. Bar E just hunts them up in fourth place. And then Model Actress in fifth ahead of Vald Love, who's racing ahead of Rogue Power. And then Watch My Six. These are now breaking away from the others. So the pace increasing. Three furlongs to go. It's Council in front still for Kieran Fallon. Leads a neck clear to a ridden along Camachi in second place. Bar E is still moving well just in their slipstream as they head down now for the final quarter mile. Shaken up Council, but still has the lead. Ba'id is going to challenge towards the stand side as Kamachi now backs out of it. It's Council in front. Ba'id, though, is coming there very strongly towards the stand side for Dana and Ilan. Ba'id is eating up the ground now as they meet the rising ground. He's going clear. This is impressive. This is Ba'id. Look at him go. Five, six lengths clear, as impressively as you like. Ba'id remains unbeaten for William Haggis and Dana O'Neill. He looks some prospect. Second, Kamachi, maybe just third, Council ahead of Vald Love, who stayed on well to be fourth. Baid has just won in, well, just the most scintillating performance. I mean, this career, Dane, only began, what, two weeks ago? You were purring after Leicester. What are your views after what he's just done at Newmarket? Yeah, very pleased with him. Uh, William and the team have been patient with him. Uh, and that's obviously shown up from Leicester and today. Um, he's got a wonderful temperament. He's well-related. But if you judge him just, you know, solely on his own merits, He's quite a nice horse, and, and hopefully he's uh, he's got a bright future. How did it play out, Steve? Because you rode him very confidently over on the far side of the Godolphin horse. You tracked him, and then you, you elected to switch down to the near side with the Qatar horse, who took you only as far as you needed to take. And then suddenly, the electric turn of foot was there to see, wasn't it? I mean, suddenly you were three lengths behind and then gone. Yeah, he's, um, as I said, he's very economical about things. He's a good mover and, and covers mm. quite a bit of ground. Um, I just felt uh, the, the John Gosling horse would take me a little bit further. Yeah. Um, he didn't really in the end as it happened, but um, he certainly switching him, you know, it gave my fella something to follow a little bit further um, and kept him, kept him sort of mentally sort of, you know, I say occupied because he's still a baby, but yeah. um, he still had a look at things on the way down. I thought he'd be, you know, because he, he wasn't in top gear also, um, it's hard to sort of make them sort of concentrate. You spoke about the, the Shadwell family, rich family. It's been a good family to the whole team, which includes, of course, the full brother, Hakum, who in a few minutes is going to run in the Hardwick Stakes. Did you... I don't think you've ridden him on the track, Hakum, or haven't yet, but have you ridden him at home? I've ridden him at home, yeah. yeah. And are there similarities at all between um, the He's a bigger horse. There's not many similarities, no. no. Um, they're, they're quite different. Um, they're both obviously quite nice horses, but they're, they're different, yeah. Um, apart from being related, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really think so. And so in that case, Hakum obviously stayed enough to win a Geoffrey Freer. Would, would this fella stay much further than a mile, do you think? Um, I would think... I th I'd, I'd be confident he would get a mile and a quarter. Um, but I still don't think we've really seen him in top gear yet. Um, okay. You know, he did he did pick up better, and he came from a long way back at Leicester and showed a real good turn of foot that day. That was impressive. Today, um, you know, if you watch the two races, you'd almost say he was a little bit greener today, and Leicester was more impressive. Um, but two different very types of ground. But yeah. listen, I, I would think he'd get him on the quarter because you see, with such a good temperament as well, he's he's bound to stay. Um, but that doesn't that doesn't mean he's one pace. He has got a good turn of foot. You've ridden some very, very good horses in these colours. How often would you get a feeling from a, such an, a, a young horse and early stage of the development? How often would you get a feeling like that, though? Uh, not often enough, I'm afraid, for all the horses we sit on and we see. Um, there's very few can, uh, yeah, can sort of excite you like that. But um, no, he, he, he's got a talent, and uh, William and his team again have, have done a good job. They've been patient. That's paid off, as I said. And um, yeah. Like I said, we're, we're looking forward to, to bigger and better things with them, I hope. Well, that will have to happen. But just in your experience again as well, what, two wins in 12 days, having not run a race before two weeks ago, would you instinctively say just ease off a bit now and give him a break or not? I'm, I'm not sure what William's plans are. Um, he will speak to Hamdam and uh, they will discuss it uh, with the powers that be and that, and, um, and we'll see. Um, 
he wouldn't have had a hard race today, but as you say, he's had two days in, in less than two weeks. Um, he carried a penalty today, which can be hard to do, although he didn't make it look hard work. Um, we'll see how he comes out. As I said, I'll, I'll leave that to uh, the powers that be to know better, but he's an exciting horse, and I'm yeah, glad I've and, been on. And the last question, when you came here today, knowing what you knew from Leicester, is that as good as you expected today or better? Uh, I'd have to say it's better. Yeah. Um, I thought the John Gosden horse brought some strong form to the table, mm. as did... Um, as a good Olfen horse, and you know he just he just breezed by them really, didn't he? I thought we were going to get into a ding dong, and we were going to see where we stood with the penalty from there, but uh, he made light work of it, and uh, as I said, he's improved again, so it's good to see. Yeah, he looks maybe just a bit above average. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing him next time, Dave. Well done. Thank Lovely. you. Lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.